lot of us do it when we think heart attack. We picture someone older, usually a man and usually overweight. But the truth is we're seeing more and more women, younger women becoming victims. We wanted to know why. Health and wellness reporter Sonia Azad got some answers. Good boy. Everything can change. I mean, everything. And you know, it's like my whole life's changed. Let's go. Vanessa Wright is one of those women we might all envy. Happily married, a homeowner, a dog mom, a job she loves. Yes. Seemingly, she had it all. Then suddenly. My vision just started getting smaller and smaller and I just, I, that's when I blacked out, I guess. A heart attack at age 32. Part of what contributed to my heart attack was birth control because I, one of the side effects of my birth control is blood clots and that's the type of heart attack that I actually did have. Smoking increased her risk. If you do birth control pills and maybe also smoke, your risk of heart disease is up by 20%. He's a good boy. Vanessa just didn't know. Two packs a day, I was smoking. So what is it that we women are doing that's contributing to our heart disease, heart attacks and strokes in our 20s, 30s and 40s? Apparently a lot. A recent Cleveland Clinic study shows almost half of women in America are in the dark when it comes to knowing the risks of heart disease. The number one risk factor for heart disease is smoking. So if you're smoking, you need to quit. Other red flags, ladies? high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, and family history. First time around, I felt um, pain in my shoulder. Ready, go. Melissa Salazar survived two heart attacks last year. She's 43 and a working mom with high cholesterol, Yay. but she ignored it. Yeah. I'm young, but it happened to me. It can happen to anybody. We've cut the death rate of heart disease by 50% in the last 20 years, but most of that has been in the older folks. Dr. Lokandwala says younger people are coming through his doors with heart disease more than ever before. That happens more in younger people because they don't think they would have it. He says our collective heart problems could stem from undiagnosed congenital heart disease or pregnancy-related weakening of the heart, but also high stress, going overboard with alcohol and excessive stimulants like energy drinks, coffee, weight loss pills, and Adderall. Sound familiar? Oh yeah, that was exactly the life I was living. Exactly. Heal up, come on. Vanessa wants her wake up call to be yours. It was really a huge awakening to realize that like it doesn't matter. It does not matter how old you are. After age 30, regularly check your blood pressure and cholesterol. Normal BP is 120 over 80. Keep the bad cholesterol under 130. If your numbers are high, see your doctor. Oh, and one more thing, quit smoking. I quit smoking that day, December 12, 2016. That's just one of many life changes for Vanessa. Well, I don't even own a salt shaker anymore. I just threw out the salt shaker. I really look at the labels of stuff. That's one big thing. I'm glad we're walking because I need to do this for my health. So. Since her pair of heart attacks, Melissa switched from fried fast food to salads, started meditation, and lost 25 pounds thanks to exercise through cardiac rehab. It's on me to keep it up from here on out. If you don't listen to your doctor or to your body, listen to these young women. <laughs> Making changes now can impact you 20 years down the road. Yes. Sonia Azad. It does make you just appreciate every moment, every moment. Channel 8 News. Good babies.